when Pat, Tony and Craig get killed in 95, where were you? I was out that night, but I wasn't there, unfortunately. I I didn't even, as I've told this story, you want to hear the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, your story, right. Um, right, first of all, there's three police that have we recently made a, um, a, a, a film or made a statement saying there was no evidence against my dad. Well, yeah, obviously, because my dad never got nicked. If there was evidence, they'd have called him in. Mm -hmm. My dad told me, I was out that night, I'm, I was trying to nick something, uh, probably a lorry or something. That's what I used to do, I like, like nicking lorry loads of gear. So I was out that night. I didn't have the mobile phone with me. When I got home, there was a missed call from my dad. So whatever time I got back, I can't remember if it was 10, 11, whatever. Um, there was a missed call. I thought, I won't phone him back. I'll call him in the morning. So the next morning, the phone's rung. Now, I've got these times six or seven in my head. It might have been seven or eight. I can't remember what flipping time it was. But I remember the phone rang and I was asleep. I'm not, I, I don't sleep until late. So I've answered the phone and he's going, they're dead, they're dead. Uh, they're dead, they're dead. And he's laughing. I'm like, what are you on about, Dad? And he said, he said, Pat, Tony and Pete are dead. Pete Cuff, Pete Cuffy. Pat, obviously Pat. Tony and Pete Cuffy, not Craig Rolfe. I said, Dad, what are you on about? He said, they're dead, they're dead. And I, I think I started crying. I said, Dad, what have you done? He went, don't worry, no one knows. Not even your stepmom knows. He said, nobody knows. I said, Dad, and I, I was crying. What the hell have you done? Um, so anyway, we're talking and I said, I'll call you back. So I think I went down the, might be wrong. I think I went down the phone box then and spoke to him. And he was saying, Pat, Tony and Pete. And I couldn't believe it. So all that day, I was listening to the radio, and I th it was either 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. These are the numbers I've got in my mind. I don't know why, I'm probably totally wrong. It was the first time I heard it announced on the news that day, that night. Obviously, the next... If they got killed at night, right, it was the next night I heard it on the news. They didn't get found till the morning of the... Was it the 8th, wasn't it? 6th, I can't remember the freaking date. Um, they got, whatever morning they got found on, it wasn't announced on the news until later that night. Now, on the news, they said, Pat, Tony and Craig. Obviously, my dad had got it wrong, right? He, but he didn't know Pete and he didn't know Craig. So, people, uh, people say, do you believe your dad done it? And I'm like, well, like my sister as well. Those police who released that story, they spoke to my sister. My sister, I'm not going to say her name. Um, and she said, yes, dad told us in the morning. Now, my, my dad knew about it early in the morning, my sister Natalie, he phoned my sister. Oh, I just said a moment, right? My sister, that. I wasn't going to say no. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. Um, she got told in the morning as well. Um, people say, do you believe it? I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it, even though they screwed up my life so much, so yeah. bad. So over the last 20 years, there's been two men in prison for the, the Essex Boys murders. I know. Um, for Max a fact, Steel they didn't do it. Yeah. And... John, um, John, Wombs. John Wombs Jack Wombs sorry so sorry Jack you know who done the murders of Pat Tony and mm. Craig who was it done the murders and um, uh, yeah so yeah so well my dad look he, he said this story that the free police released right they said there was a guy who walked down a back alley, or not down a back alley, across the field and through the back gate, right? Killed the guys. This guy's someone, Jasper, I can't remember his name. Billy Jasper. If that's what his name is. So when this story came out from the free police, people said, well, did your, did your dad know Billy Jasper? I'm like, I don't know. I've got my friends. If you say to me, um, if I tell about a crime I committed, I, I talk about Malcolm, right? I've done crimes with other people, but they're still alive. So I'm not going to tell you their names. My dad had his, his criminal little... Like, say, he was banged up at eight. He was wanting to prove school at the age of eight. He'd done bird up until he was, like, in the mid-twenties. In and out, in and out, in and out. Like, I used to be being a wally. So he had his... I don't know who he knew. He, I know he had friends up near... Um, oh, near Chafford 100. I know he had friends further on. He had, he had loads of friends in different places. Say did, loads. He, did he ever admit to you that he'd done it? He said he'd done it.